<laughs> what a mess. So we're back here at the actual river, which is so freaking gorgeous. Like, I don't even know if a, any camera could capture how freaking pretty this is. Like, imagine having like a, a little guest house or like, I don't know, like a sleeping quarters or something like right here. How freaking cute. And it just wraps around. And the river is our property line. So anything we do on this side of the river, it's, you know, ours. This is our property line. Um, but do you also see this that we're dealing with? Oh my gosh. And yes, I'm out of breath. I'm freaking oh, overweight and out of shape. And oh my God, Ugh. tired. I'm also carrying a rifle here because we did see bear tracks. It's a little excessive for a bear, but I didn't, I'm not the one that brought it. I'm just one carrying it. But this, this is a beast. And our biggest issue is that we have so many problems with drainage and beavers and fallen trees over 40 years that haven't been maintained that we keep ending up with places like this where it's just, it's just backing up and flooding for acres and acres. And so, my husband, who is far more intelligent than me because I'm like, I don't know, just create a path for the water to flow and then make a big holding pond. I guess it's not that simple. I don't know. I'm here. I guess it's not that simple. Um, in my mind, it's a lot of work, but it's not, not as uh, complicated. But I think Pete's going to blow up some stuff with some tannerite. I'm sure that'll be fun. Look at this river, though. Y'all, like, really? The river? I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm not playing the river. But we can't get any machinery back here right now. None. Zero. Too many of those flooding swampy areas and it's kind of a challenge all right I'm gonna attempt to climb over this massive pile here and not have a heart attack and run out of breath but I'll be back to update oh so this is kind of what we're dealing with you could see this backs up all the way to our property this is probably about 15 acres probably of water um, that lines on the back side of our property. Different areas, some areas larger than others, but a lot of this swamp land and a lot of it's these beavers are making these dams. Um, and right here next to me, you can see here's a river, but then we've got this area and it's just because the beavers have made up such dams right here, the water is just not draining um, into the river. So, I'm gonna blow up some beaver dams and I'm gonna stand really far away and let my amazing expert husband do that. Because I think it's really cool, but I have no interest in blowing stuff up. So, kind of what we got to do so that we can get equipment back here because once we can get the equipment back here this river is beautiful um we can make you know a lot of really nice little areas back here build a little guest house and gazebos and picnic areas walking trails but we we got to get this all this swampy water out of here got to get rid of these beavers I mean, they're just so destructive. And I know, I love, 
I love nature. Hang on, Pete's calling me. Yeah. Yep. Clearing a beaver dam right here, getting the water flowing. There's a beaver dam right there too. Yep. I mean, they're just everywhere, y'all. Holy crap. Um. But we can't with with all of their destruction. We can't um, really use any of this land, and we're all about animals and we love animals and you know we're we're happy to make a couple ponds here for them on the property but uh they can't destroy the whole property um you know, have to keep them on in check and kind of stay on top of them you can see here's a tree that they're working on this is a a newer one that you can see where they're just they're eating away the bottom of the tree. Um, and I know that's what they do. Um, but they're also harming other habitats here too because, um, you know, the previous owner of this site told us there was so many deer and things in the past and a lot of things have to move on because they can't, they can't get by right here anymore because of the water and so we gotta we gotta find a balance here um and we definitely want to want to use this land so we're gonna have to get rid of this swamp and and all these little beaver dams and we'll still respect them um and we'll make some holding ponds and places for them. And they have a beautiful river here still that's nice and deep and large that they can play in. But they're gonna have to share the 41 acres, so. <laughs> All right, we'll update y'all when they start blowing stuff up here. What are you doing? Mixing uh, ammonium nitrate and aluminum powder. Why? So that we can destroy this firm and we can uh, get rid of all the water in the property. <laughs> what do you think about this? I don't know. <laughs> once we get this, um, once we're ready to go, we'll start like,